Hey guys, it's Al the Dog Trainer. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. And today I'm going to be talking about correcting your high anxiety schnauzer. So, you know, correcting your high anxiety schnauzer actually may seem counterintuitive, but it's actually one of the more important things you could do. Before I go over that, let me just kind of tell you some things that actually you may be doing that are actually putting your training behind. One thing that I see a lot of people do, especially with their small dogs, is that they're actually picking up their small dog when it's experiencing anxiety and they're beginning to pet their dog during those circumstances, okay? Now, I'll tell you this, any behavior, okay, whether it's a good or a bad one, which anxiety is definitely one of those bad behaviors, if your dog's experiencing anxiety, and you begin to pet your dog and you begin to verbally praise your dog or even say, it's gonna be okay, that soothing voice and the calmness and the calmness of your touch is actually going to create more and more anxiety in your dog. So it's very important that if that is your dog, I please, please, please want you to stop petting your dog first and foremost. Now, like I said, it may actually seem counterintuitive that you're actually going to have to punish your dog to get rid of the anxiety. But let me just define punishment real quick. Punishment is, Anything that the environment or you do that reduces the rate of a particular behavior or like a class of behaviors like anxious behaviors. So you actually have to punish the anxiety to tell the dog's brain to do it less. If you reinforce anxiety by petting and by praise or by giving your dog food, you will actually reinforce the anxiety and that is actually not what you want to do. So what's important at this point, okay, is to first off have your leash. Your leash is the best pressure tool in the beginning, okay? What I like to do with anxious dogs is I begin to lead them with pressure because pressure actually, when it's done right, has a calming effect. To do pressure right, it doesn't take rocket science to understand it, but there is technique. Any time that you're gonna use pressure to calm a dog or leash to calm a dog, what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn the pressure on and then when the dog enters into the calmer state, okay, into the behavior that you're wanting, then you relax the pressure. In the beginning with your dog, it may just be good, beginning with your schnauzer, it may be good to have the leash tight, have the dog move towards you, okay, through the leash pressure, and then the moment the dog moves towards you, then to reduce the pressure. If you start doing, and I would recommend anywhere from 30 to 50 repetitions the first time you do this, you're gonna see how the leash is going to actually begin to have a calming effect on your dog. You should actually do this with not a lot of distractions in the beginning. Now, with your high anxiety dog, I think that it's supremely important to actually teach your dog the place command. The way that I train the place command is that I put pressure on the dog with the leash when they're off the bed, and then once they get 100% on the bed, that means all four feet are on there, then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to re uh, reduce the pressure. And that actual binary thing of pressure on, pressure off, will have a calming influence on the dog's brain. As you begin to do pressure on, pressure off with different behaviors, excessive whining, pulling on the leash, getting onto their bed, any of those things that you're, you're trying to teach the dog, then your dog's brain actually becomes calmer and calmer. Now, the way that I particularly do this is I actually like to use a remote collar. If you've never trained with a remote collar before, then I definitely suggest learning how to do so, and we'll make sure that we put some kind of tag up at the top or maybe a description down below to a playlist that can help you get started using a remote collar. Before you ever use a remote collar to help your dog understand, you actually should, you actually should, okay, watch some videos and get a little bit of education on that. At some point in your training, if you don't know what you're doing, you should take some time, watch some videos, get some knowledge. If you do know what you're doing and you have your remote collar, you've properly conditioned it, then it is okay that when your dog begins to enter into those anxious behaviors that you actually use the remote collar at a higher level to tell the dog's brain that I don't want you to do that. Now it becomes very important that once your dog actually comes out of that, that sometime later, at a minimum of three seconds, that's the close, or a maximum of three seconds, but as much as 30 seconds away, 
you would actually then begin to reinforce your dog for being in the calmer state. And you will continuously reinforce your dog for being in a, in a calmer state, but you will punish any behavior that begins to lead towards anxiety. Well, hey guys, I hope this video has been useful. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. I'm gonna be putting more and more content. And if you like, we're gonna be having a live show every Wednesday night this month, okay? And, the, and then every Thursday night starting in February where you can come on, ask us the questions uh, that you have, what, tell us what's going on with your dog, and I'll do my best to answer them. Well, hey, thanks again for watching this video. Have a great one. Talk to you later.